good morning vlog how is everybody doing on this fine morning i don't know if you're gonna be watching this in the morning but it's morning for me right now it is i think it's like five past eight i am up and ready <laughs> up and ready i am gonna be up and ready to go to work this morning but i just thought i'd pick up my phone because i finally have decided to get off my social media I decided this last night that I just need to do it and just get over it because I think it's kind of what puts me into a bad mental state. Now I don't want to put all I don't want to put all the blame on social media because a lot of it is just my own head. I just really want to try and better myself and stop comparing myself to everything that I see online. And I know I feel a little bit dumb because in my head the only thing that I want to do is social media. So it's a bit weird that I'm like, oh my god, I want to delete it all. But I think it's more just going to be like a little bit of detox just to see if it makes a difference at all and if it helps me to stop feeling down about myself and stop comparing myself to everyone else that I see because I won't be seeing them. And I'll just see whether I have extra time on my hands if I'm not on my phone and what I do at my time. But anyways, I'll keep you updated. Good evening. So it is a bit later now. I finish work at six. Also, I didn't explain. I don't think I really need to explain, but... Clearly I'm doing a face mask because I'm fucking bored as shit. And I think I might make a list right now of things that I want to achieve out of doing this or things that, like goals for myself or something. I mostly just wanted to show off this face mask because I am obsessed. Yeah, I feel so sexy with a face mask on. And I don't know if that's because my face is covered that I find it more attractive. Surely not. But there's just something about them. I just think they look so sexy. So fucking sexy. Tell, tell me you wouldn't want to date me right now. You can't. I also have my lip plumper on that has glitter in it. And there's glitter on my face mask. And I, oh, I just wish I could post a selfie on Instagram right about now. But yeah, instead, I guess I will set you up for a little bit of nighttime, nighttime journaling. Where is my tripod? I got it, yes bitches. Chocolate vanilla swirl with cookie crunch, please. I got it, yes bitches. Chocolate vanilla swirl with cookie crunch, please. This happened with my last video too. My tripod just slips. This looks so scary, oh my God. No, I'm not on TikTok anymore, but yesterday before I stopped, I saw this thing and it was like, it's a blessing to have big eyes until you're looking up at someone. Do I not look like a blessing anymore? Also, I've got really sore boobs. Can you see yourself? Let's open up a fresh page in my journal. This is my journal that I'm using. My mama got it for me for, for the Christmas, for the Christmas period as a, as a present. But actually, I've been using it. I've been journaling. I've been journaling every night. Well, not every night, but the odd time that something goes wrong and I like to write about it instead of telling my friends because I don't want to be a burden. What am I going to call this? What I want to what what I want to achieve by staying off of social media. What I want to achieve by limiting social media. Limiting social media usage. First aim. Well, what am I gonna do? What am I doing now that I'm not using using the socials? I want to listen to more podcasts. This could be some ideas for you guys too. If if you want to join me, if you want to do a little detox. This is this is stuff you can do. This is something you can do. Pop it, lock it, polka dot it. This, don't, that's not the moves. Last night I said that I wanted to read a little bit more, but I don't really like to read. Maybe we could pick a book tonight and then I'll feel like I have to do it because I have to update the vlog. Yeah. I want to eat my meals without going on my phone, which I have done for the last 24 hours. Stay off phone while eating because I'm more aware of my intake. My face mask has fallen off my nose. I don't know where to look. No, it's still there. It's so weird that whenever I stay off my phone to eat, I get full so much quicker and then I realise how much I've actually been overeating because I don't look up from my plate until it's completely gone because I've been on my phone the whole time. When really, I didn't need to eat that much food because I was full. I was full 10 minutes ago, but... So what are some more healthy things I could do? Healthy, healthy. Come on, brain. I'm gonna say do some activity because I don't want to limit myself to work at night because that's a negative connotation. <laughs> What was that? I want to put more effort into videos because if I'm not getting drained and using my energy on TikTok and etc, 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 maybe I'll have more energy to talk to you guys. 
use energy on video production and film management. I'm gonna make like an extra heading now for the very end and say my ultimate goal, come on Miss English, is to stop comparing myself and my journey to others because that's what social media makes you do because I feel like I'm 20 steps behind everybody else, even though I'm not. But I might be, but I think that I am, but I'm not. Because everybody goes at their own pace and that's okay. But in saying that, I saw Hannah Maloche. Hannah Maloche, I'm calling you out. And she's 19, she's my age, and she just moved to Hawaii. What was the need? When I'm trying to get myself together and you pull a stunt like this, you best believe I muted you on Instagram. Ultimate goal is to stop comparing myself on my journey to others. Preach it, bitch. Let's go see what books I have in my wardrobe. See, this is why I don't read. Everything is locked in my book sack. We could support our girl, Miss Zoella. Yeah, Miss Zoe Sug. I know I have some really good David Williams books in there. They're quite funny too. And that would count as like reading. I know it's a child's book, but maybe I've got a child's brain. Right, so I've chosen a book. Chosen a book? I've chosen a book. I'm not really sure how to say that, but I'm sure I'll figure it out after I read. It's this one. It's by Sinead Moriarty. This could be an exciting read. I think I might just get stuck in right now. I, I don't want to over talk on the first day because this is going to go on for a few days. But I'm just so bored now. I just want to keep talking because what the fuck else am I going to do? Good morning. It is day two of the social media detox. I am ready to go to work and just wanted to update you that I didn't go on any social media this morning or last night after I turned off the camera. I feel fine, a little bit bored. It's kind of weird like not having noise and stuff in the morning because usually I'd have TikTok like playing in the background when I'm brushing my teeth and everything. So it's a little bit more quiet than usual. It's kind of weird because I'm like, I'm ready to listen to TikToks in the morning but I couldn't put on music because that would just piss me off. But anyways, I'll just update you this evening of what I'm doing or how I'm getting on. Um, it's actually the evening time now. I've been at work all day and I'm not gonna lie, I am in a, I'm in a bad mood. Oh. Um, but yeah, I'm in a really bad mood. I'm, I'm a moody bitch today, which is why I just haven't picked up my phone to record because we would have been having a fight through the screen. But I got home from work and I just cried. I cried when I got in the door and I've just been watching YouTube since I got home. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night, to be honest. Um. I don't really want to do anything else. Good morning vlog, it is day three. Last night I went to sleep at about 20 past 10, I think. I was listening to like a sleeping meditation because I was like, we're on our healthy shit. We're on our good vibe shit. It was about five minutes in, it was like a sleeping meditation. And they were like, allow yourself to fall asleep. Just fall asleep. And I was like, okay. So I fell asleep immediately. I don't even remember falling asleep, but I did eat. And then of course this morning, instead of going on any social media, I did another meditation. It was a morning meditation and it was for like affirmations. And it was really inspiring. It put me in a really good mood. Then I spent about an hour doing some manifesting, just writing in my journal, you know the drill. It's almost 20 past 12 right now. And I'm gonna do a dancing workout. Oh! So I'm all kitted out, ready for a wee cheeky workout. I haven't done any form of workout in months so i thought you know what we'll just do we'll just do a wee dancey dance i'll do my wee dancey dance because that's not gonna feel like a workout it's gonna feel fun let me give you a little rundown of where all of my workout gym clothes are from so i got these in st vincent de paul for a four euro <laughs> and then i got this tommy hilfiger sports bra from debbie so nice and cheap i might set you up and do a cheeky wee time lapse so that you can see me just bust moves Bust the moves, Shadi. Bust the moves. <laughs> I can't stop watching this part over and over again. Because because in the moment, I really thought I was doing the most. I thought that I was a workout queen, and now that I'm watching it, it looks like I'm barely moving, and I just look like I'm a sim. <laughs> You know what, that was a little bit tricky, but it wasn't impossible. It is half eight now. I had a nap for two and a half hours. Then I got up and I made dinner. I came back and I watched some YouTube and now I'm just so bored. I'm having thoughts where I'm like, well, I could just go on TikTok. Like I could just go on Instagram. Like they're not actually gonna know. No one's gonna know that I went on 
but I know I'm gonna feel so shit about myself if I do that because then there's no point. There's no point in this video and there's no point in doing my detox if I don't actually do it. So I haven't gone on it. This was definitely a lot easier to do when I was working for the last two days. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it for the next five. But I finally picked up my book. I didn't read it the first night like I said I was going to, but I started it today and I made it to chapter seven. But I just can't read it anymore. I would also like to mention that I listened to a podcast while I was cooking my dinner. So there's there's one of my little goals ticked off. I listened to podcasts. I've read. I've worked out. Oh my god. So today is Friday and if you saw my last video then you would know that today is my dentist appointment to get my root canal. I am really, 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 really scared. I could not get to sleep last night. I think I stayed up till about three o'clock just overthinking the whole scenario completely. I just couldn't sleep. I was absolutely terrified going to bed. And now this morning, first of all, if you have a like, oh my God, girls don't poop mentality, uh, click off this video right now because I have had nervous shits since I woke up this morning. I have explosive. <laughs> I am so nervous. My appointment is at 12. And I just, I feel violently ill. I am so nervous. I literally don't even know how to function. I don't know what to do with myself. I don't even know how to breathe. I'm forgetting how to breathe. I am so scared. I did it. I didn't cry. My lift is really numb, but I'm, I'm doing well. I haven't done anything all day except for binge watch all of the Twilight movies so it's safe to say I haven't been on any social media I don't think I need to prove that any longer also I'm coping really well with this tooth I might have been a little bit dramatic in my last bit. video just a tiny just little a bit tired. but that's not my fault I just have severe anxiety but anyways I'm doing fine in case any of you were worried that my tooth might have fallen out or I lost my lip I didn't. I don't know if I talked right. Should I do okay? Should I redo it? I think I talked alright. Uh, I think you should redo it. I should redo it. Yeah. Okay. Good afternoon vlog. It is Saturday. I'm here with my special guest. So I'm with my niece today and we have had a pretty chill day. What have we done all day? We made puzzles. puzzles. So now we're being productive again and where are you gone? <laughs> What are we making? Brownies. I thought you were going to say banana bread there for a second. I was like, we're not making banana bread. <laughs> we're making brownies. That is the plan for the next little while. Will we keep them updated if they go well? Yeah? Good idea? Do you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? No. Oh, okay. That was me. That looks like a lot. <laughs> you can make cuddles. Ah! Timmy! <laughs> spend some quality time with Kimmy but she said you should put the camera back on. I think you should pick the vlog back up. Do you want to be a YouTuber? 50-50. 50-50. What should they do? Give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> Some of them are a little bit burnt. burnt. Just a little bit burnt. A little bit shiny and charcoal. But Kimmy insisted on doing a taste test. Mm. Good? What would you rate them out of 10? 11. Good morning vlog. It is Sunday and I know I'm still wearing the same jumper as yesterday. But just don't even, don't even at me right now, okay? I think I'm gonna leave the vlog off as it is. Just because I don't really know what else I can do that's entertaining. I have two more days until I'm back to work, so I honestly think I'm gonna just be lying in bed. And I honestly just don't really think these daily vlog things are very much me. So I don't think I'm doing a good job, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. You got a few days content and that's enough for me. I stayed off my Fisco, my Instagram, and my TikTok for how many days has it been? I don't even know, five days maybe. And I actually don't really have that strong of an urge to go back onto them. So it actually feels quite good that I'm not finishing off this vlog with being like, oh my God, I can't wait to get back on to Instagram. I can't wait to see what everyone's doing. 
because I actually don't really feel like I care that much. I think the best day that I had was day three. I don't know why I felt so good on that day. I did all the meditations, manifesting, workout, read, podcast, cook dinner. That was like the most productive day that I had all week and it was probably the best day of the week that I had. I think I nearly squeezed like all of the goals into one day. So I probably could have made this just a day vlog of me doing everything in one day, but whatever. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and turn on my post notifications so that you know every time that I post. But anyways, but anyways, anyways, that is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. There's me in my mess room and my cat. Bye. Bye.